somewhere here. Let's just take a peek. Let's see. All oh, old schools. All oh, old schools. <clears throat> oh, I haven't opened this or been through this case in such a long time. So let's just uh, let's just jump right into it. I guess it right. <clears throat> so, like, this is a Celica. Hold on, it's, it is. It's too bright in here. Hold on a second. Like, she wants light. Okay. All right. So, this is actually. A Toyota Celica. It's crazy, right? It's still too bright in here. Oops. Hold on a second. Let me see. Why don't we do it like this? Just regular, regular light. Let's see what happens here. Okay. Much better if you ask me. This way you guys can see it. Um... Yeah, the Celica is a sweet tart joint. It's vintage. Twin Peak Celica. I think it's a pretty cool find. I'm not going to open it because I don't have doubles. And because it's so old, you know I can't find another one. It's got to be worth at least $10 online to try to buy it. So, not going to open that. Not going to open any of these, as a matter of fact. But I want you guys to see them. These are the blings. What up, Car Spot Kid? Yeah, I just want you to see some of the older joints. Matter of fact, here, let's just pull this up a little bit. Cause the, yeah, let's just do it like that a little bit. You guys can see that, that crusty background, but you can see the car a lot better. Michael Jordan, 23, slam dunking on him. But yeah, these are the blings. And then, so I don't really, I'm not really a fan of these old school joints, but I gotta let you see it because I got it, right? Okay, the next three, let's see here. This is a pretty cool one. Dodge van. Something you're not gonna find on the shelves. I'm sorry, I should've hit this. I apologize, I can't do that, man. Too many bad experiences. I apologize. Um, this is another old one. I mean, I'm not really a fan, but once again, I'm never gonna. I'm never gonna open it. It's gonna stay in the collection forever, and I don't even like it. But here we got another Celica. This Celica is sweet. Now, don't get me wrong. The other one was nice because it had the uh, the logo on it. it. Had the sweet tart logo. But let's take a look at this Celica here. This is pretty. Pretty, pretty sweet. You know, at the time, that uh, rear wing is crazy, though. Right? <laughs> but but it's, it's on the other one. It's just a different, uh, different color, same casting. But look at that wing on the back. It's exuberant. <laughs> a little bit too much. So let's let's break out the next three. And I like this one. This one I really like. This the Audi. They don't do like they used to. They don't put them on the side on the bottom. They put them on the side on these ones. So the Audi R8. Thanks for the love. I appreciate that. But this is cool. It's got like sparkle paint there, black sparkling paint. The, the interior is beige, so you can see it. Um, pretty good details on the back. Like Match, Matchbox, I always say, has better details. But back in the day, Hot Wheels was definitely better than Matchbox because look at those details, man. They don't do that anymore. Like they just don't do that anymore. But, yep. Okay, so here's another cool one right here. This is Nissan Sylvia. Right? And once again, look at that wing. It's exuberant. They've... they've 
exasperated it or whatever, exaggerated it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is a pretty cool Sylvia. Um, unsure what year it is, but go Team Hot Wheels, right? Team Hot Wheels Racing. Okay. And here is another one. I liked the graphics for it. Monkey wrenched. Monkey wrenches. Got the monkey in there selling wrenches. There it is. No uh, details on the front or the back, but it's still pretty cool. You know, you got all those decals on the side and on the top. You got those flames coming off of it. It's pretty cool. But this was made in 2004. Well, at least that's the date that's on the card. You know it probably came out later than 2004, but that's the production date, so. Okay, these next three, let's see. So, once again, I'm not really a fan of the old school stuff, like these tail draggers. I'm not really a fan of it, but same thing. I gotta keep it in the package. It's heavy. I could tell that this is a really heavy casting however I, I won't know it's, do you think that nah I'm about to say think it's a moving parts but not no nope, because it's, it's Hot Wheels <laughs> Hot Wheels don't do that often so it's a toe jam I seen um, a couple of newer ones than this one but this is a toe jam it's the, the three axle tow truck right toe jam I think I got an extra one of these either loose somewhere or I think I still got it in the package. But, yep, that's what that looks like. And this is another old school one I'm not really necessarily a fan of. But once again, I got it in the collection. And that's the classic Packard. And once again, no details on the front or the back. Um, a lot of chromy chrome on there. But, um, yeah, that's just not what Hot Wheels does, right? <laughs> Like Hot Wheels does, for whatever reason, they don't want to um, have any uh, details on the front or the back of the car. I mean, in most instances, not every instance is like that. But here's a cool school bus, right? Like street Art Series, a school bus. So let's check the graphics on it. What is that? Power, speed, power. And well, I got to look at this off camera. Let me see. I can't even tell what that, you tell me what that says. Come on, focus. I don't know what the heck it says. Power and, is that an A? Anyway, that's the school bus. Came out in, uh, oh, this is 1900s. Let's see. Right there, 1989, 98. Dyslexic, 1998. <laughs> right, so that does for those. No, no. What's this here? It's a Corvette. Pretty cool Corvette, too. And those look like Matchbox wheels, right? <laughs> as much as they talk trash about Matchbox. I'm not trying to big Matchbox up. No details on the front or the back, but those look like Matchbox wheels. You know, that's just me. I'm not saying that it is. And uh, the other one here we got is the uh, Chrysler Pronto. I've never heard of a Pronto, but I'm not. I don't know everything. I don't know a lot of stuff. So, um, yeah, it's it, this one looks like an old Packard or something. It's kind of cool, but not my style. No, not my style, buddy. However, this little dragster thing here isn't my style either. It's like an oldster, old uh, school roadster, Duce roadster. You fit two people in there, I guess that's what they call it. I don't know. Not really a fan, but it is a vintage. I'm not going to open it. It's Team uh, Hot Wheels 2007. Let's see if you can see it there. It's 2007. And, um, yeah, it gives a little history on the back of the car, about the car. Love it, huh? 
That's it's, that's dope, man. You know, I'm glad you appreciate it. I appreciate it as well because I'm not gonna open it. <laughs> but that's not really my style. But like I said, I appreciate all cars, anything that rolls, man. That's just me. But I love this Acura NSX, bro. Like, come on. Like, this is more my style here. You know, JDM and Muscle is something I really, really do appreciate. Now, this wing on the back looks crazy, but look at the color on it. Like, they, they really did the damn thing, you dig? So, yeah, this is more my steez, more my style, what I would rock with, you dig? But, yeah, um, Hot Wheels once again, great job. Um, I'm still Matchbox over Hot Wheels, Team Matchbox, but we're going over Hot Wheels because Hot Wheels is dope. I'm not taking anything away from it. I just like Matchbox better. I'm going for the underdog. This thing reminds me of a video game I used to play back in the day called Moon Patrol. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Moon Patrol, but it used to come on Atari, and this thing would jump over rocks and uh, keep it going. It would jump over, um, it would crush stuff, it would jump over some, certain stuff, and it would shoot uh, uh, like, I don't know, lasers or whatever at people. But this reminds me of Moon Patrol. But I don't think it has anything to do with it. It's just called Radar Ranger. And it has a radar on the other side. But it just looks like the machine that you are playing in Moon Patrol, if you know what I'm talking about. I think that was on Atari. I'm pretty sure it was. But, uh, yeah, Moon Patrol was a, a, a fun game for me, my childhood. Brings back a lot of memories, but now this thing here is kind of funky, man. I don't even know what this is. It's a Mega Duty web trading cards. I don't know. Yeah, they definitely today's matchboxes are much better than yesterday's matchboxes. They continuously improve. True indeed. But here in this age, this era, Hot Wheels had them. No questions asked. But what kind of car is this? It's a um, Mega Duty. What are the insignias on? Let's check the back here. El Segundo Designer Hot Wheels built for haul off-roading. Yeah, this is a fantasy car. It looks realistic, though. I'll give it that. Some of Hot Wheels' fantasy cars just don't look like anything. <laughs> they look like they're fantasy cars, like they've never been made. Once again, the old schooler, I'm not really a fan of these, you know, domed up uh, cars in the back. But, you know, nonetheless, you got the floorboards on the side. And uh, once again, what Hot Wheels is known for, they have no details whatsoever. And that's cool because these decals on here are really cool. 57 Chevy. No real details on the front, no real details on the back, but you got that dotted uh, stripe, thick stripe across the top, and you have the certain, some, certainly some pretty cool graphics on the side of it. Yeah, I, Rat Rod, you're going to be here for a lot. Watch a lot of this stuff. You're going to enjoy this. I don't necessarily care for this type. I mean, the 57 Bel Airs, the 57 Chevys, those are cool, but like the Packards and... You're going to see I got a lot of that stuff. Like here, you'd love this one, right? This is right up your alley. Nice and old school, right? I don't really care for it. First edition, so far. I guess this is a fantasy car as well because I don't see it being real. But it looks realistic. Got Hot Wheels logo on the back. And the car probably doesn't roll too good. Look how small, like lightly those wheels stick out the bottom. Definitely don't want to do any... Uh, it is the real one. Oh, oh there is one that's real. Okay. Uh, so fine. Okay. What's the, who's the manufacturer of this puppy? <laughs> Oldsmobile so fines. I, I, Cadillac so fines. I don't know. Nonetheless, there it is. Right. Okay. So let's uh, let's take another, another gander at this guy. This is definitely made up because it's. I see it recently on the new casting. This is a fast fish, right? And I got two of these. But this is pretty cool. It's got the chromy chrome um, details around the side, like, you know, like the chromy chrome um, outlining. The red with the green, I mean, I don't get it. But that's Hot Wheels, man. You know, 
That's how they do, man. That's how they do. Unrealistic. But this thing right here, man, I need to get one of those uh, characters and have them sit on that. But I'm not opening this up. Oldsmobile. Okay, I'm an Oldsmobile guy too. GTI Super MK. We doing all old. We doing all all vintage, um, vintage uh, uh, cars in my collection. So I'm just gonna go through those. Uh, the Dodge Charger mixed with the Plymouth. <laughs> but this is crazy, y'all. Uh, look at this. I don't know. There's no special features on that, right? And uh, maybe that's just loose from time or something. I don't know. But it's still in the box. It's untouched and it's been in there for years. So, let's see how the rest of these, all right? We got another fast fish in here. We might well get that out of the way, right? Like another fast fish, all right? You just seen that. Fuel location? I don't know. Uh, this has got to be a, a fantasy car. Sidekick. I've uh, never seen this in real life before. But I think it's pretty cool because I could tell that. You see how that piece, you can tell it comes out of there. And it doesn't tell you on these ones if it's a special feature. It just doesn't say like the other ones will say it. But I had one that was open. And it slides out, right? It has to. It has to slide out. It's just, and that's pretty cool because not a lot of Hot Wheels have parts that actually move. But this Audi is cool. I think I got I, I showed this one at the beginning. This is a double. It's the Audi R8, and the same thing. Look at the paint on it. It's pretty cool. Details on the front, details on the back. It's definitely one of Hot Wheels' better castings because it just is. <laughs> it just is. Okay, so. This one here, I did not pay three dollars for it. Trust me. Well, like a dollar or fifty cents. I just, but the Jaggy, same thing. Well, well, we got some details. Nope, nope, no details right there. No details on the front. Ain't no detail. They just left. They just hit this with the white paint, threw a Hot Wheel logo in the windshield, rear windshield, and said, "Man, that's it. I'm done." And yep, they left that. This was year 1994. See that? 94. Yep. Okay. And Pinky's Limousine. There we go. Biff Bam Boom series, right? We got the limo. Uh, is that a Lincoln or a Cadillac? Sure. No details on the back. Same thing. I got this open as well. Um, I don't know. Where is it? Oh, I see it. Matter of fact, let me grab it real quick so you can get a better look at how it looks when it's open. Oh, uh, where's that? Just was looking at it. Oh, here it is. Y'all see my feet, my toes all in the camera? Okay, here we go. This guy. All right? They're not rare. A lot of people got these. Yeah. So, it is what it is. Got paint, that's paint on my fingers. I've been doing some paint. But yeah, nothing special about it. Like I said, is that a Cadillac or is that a Lincoln? Either way, it's the Boom Bam series, Biff Bam Boom series. From what year is this? Uh, 1979. Yeah, goes back, man. Goes back, and I see a lot of people with that car, so that's pretty cool. It may have came out with a newer one, but yeah, that's when that one came out. He was born in 94. I was born, this is going crazy. I was born in 73. Look at the Butterfinger and the logos on this. This is really cool. The Good Years, it got a lot of those pieces down on the side. So we got the Hot Wheels in the back, the number two. But the same thing, man. Hot Wheels does not play games when it comes to those details on the front and the back of the car. Just don't play that. Racing win online. Online. I wonder how old this is. Online, mind you. Um, so it can't be too old. I don't see any date on here. 2001. Let's see if you can see it. What is that? I just seen it. There it is. 2001 right there. 
Come on. There you go. Butterfingers. Put that front on the butterfinger too. Yep. Okay. Let me set this guy back down. And I'm breaking out another three here. And uh, this is pretty cool. This is a Dodge Ram 1500. Look at the flames on the side of that. The logo in the back with the Dodge Ram. And same thing. No freaking details on the front or the back. It's your favorite chocolate. Butterfingers. I think I got another Butterfingers type um, car. I'm pretty sure I do. But yeah, this Ram is pretty cool. But same thing, man. No freaking details, man. Hot Wheels is, is wrong for that. So here's an old school one with the uh, the paint. This You guys can't see, but this paint is color changing. It really does change colors. It's not as purpley as it looks in that camera just because the lights are on it. It's really a darker color, but it changes in the light. It looks like the chameleon color. But in there, it's... Uh, I'm not selling anything, brother. I'm sorry. You have to find one online. I don't know how much they charging for this online. You tell me, man. Like, I don't know, man. I'm not selling it. I mean, not these ones, not yet. So you got the go-kart here. I'm just showing you guys. I'm sorry, bro. I don't mean to tease you or anything, but yeah, I'm not selling it, man. I wouldn't even know how much it's going for right now. I'm pretty sure it's going for a penny penny. It's it's Man, sorry, man. I don't mean to be like rude with it, but yeah, I just I haven't I haven't thought about that yet. I just and if you like that, man, oh my goodness, look at the '62 Chevy with the surfboard in the back, man. Dropped. Look at those wheels. You can't really tell the paint job on here, but it's got that stripe on the side. Maybe it's too bright or something. But that paint is crispy. purple patch that was a beautiful purple yeah it changes colors too so like this camera is not doing it any justice word but same thing matchbox don't want to do any details on they got cool painting on the side and it looks better it, it really does it looks better face to face it's got that skateboard in the back i mean surfboard in the back let's see what year did this come out this came out Ooh, 2007. Oh, come on, come on. Right there. 2007. And these are, I don't like these ones, but let's go through them anyway, because I got them. Like, what the heck is that, right? This is an old, old, old school joint, right? Yeah, I can make some money on that truck next year, too. <laughs> next year, I think I can make a little more money. I don't like these joints either, man. Um, I don't like these type of joints. These are older schools. They're like, like Dick Tracy cars or something. The Dagger, the Dragger. It's not a real car. Can't be, right? And that's those three. Here, let's see. All right, so now we're breaking down to the bottom of this case right here. This is the bottom of the case. So now we're going through half of the case already. We're going through the other half right now. We're going to see what's going on with these cars. They're just a little bit older. Some of these are actually newer that I'm seeing in here. Okay. So here, let's take a peek. Uh, 63 T-Bird. All right. Like that's pretty cool. Same thing. No details on the front or the back. But that's what mass, I mean, that's what Hot Wheels does. The car just like psh, beat up. But let's see what year is this. What year do you think this is? 2000. Uh, you're gonna have to take my word for it. 2000, right? And we got this guy here. What the heck is this? It's a Martian or something. Like, what the heck is this? Overstuffed garbage can or something? <laughs> Ford and Mercury. See, I don't know nothing, man. I just collect them. 
So this is the 2001st edition Hype Mic, Hyper Mic. I know this ain't real. You can't tell me this ain't a fantasy, man. <laughs> um, I don't know. Let's keep going and see if I got what a drag. I haven't pulled it out yet. I grabbed something that was about a drag. I don't think it was what a drag, but Angry Birds Minion. I think that's pretty cool. Like, when did the Angry Birds come out? I'm late because I certainly didn't know about them this year. This was 2012, maybe. Angry Birds, I may have known about that. You got the red Angry Bird, because you're dope. That's because you're dope. I'm not that dope. Look how beat up this card is. It came from Kmart for 96 cents. Look at that bad boy. Yeah, and this, what year is this? Oh, it doesn't even say what year it is. Oh, 86. 1986. I don't believe so. We're going to go through these cars and you're going to see what I got right now, though, as far as vintage goes. Like, I don't even think this is vintage. I don't know how this made it in there. This is dope, though. Good morning, Carmania CJM. You know I still got you plastered on the wall, buddy. Let me see what year was this. This is 2020. Yeah, this is not vintage at all. I don't know how this got in that box, but I'm going to leave it in there just because I'm going to leave it in there. Thanks for the love, brother. But gave me up the ice cream and the pepper. You ever had pepper flavor ice cream? <laughs> or jalapeno favorite ice cream? Snap the fingers. Do your stare. He got the lightning going. Thanks, bro. Oh, snap. Turkey Day 2024. He came in and going. Word. Yeah, that came out 2020. Yeah, that's nothing. That's nothing. But we're going to keep that in there because it's vintage. This is definitely vintage. Look at the Kmart sticker on that, man. My man said the gobble, gobble. The Kmart sticker is 96 cents out the store. Yeah, if you're not doing it, follow Car Mania JCM. I'm telling you, it's worth it. It's a good dude. You see how he gave me all the love? If you go live, he might give you some love, too. So follow Carmania, JCM. If you're not following him already, dude, is super cool. Look at this one. Came out in 81. What the heck is this thing it's got right here? It's, it's, I guess, okay, yeah, it's got a convertible. Put the top in there. Yeah, okay, pretty pretty cool. Extras, that was the with removable accessories. Yeah, crazy, right? Ah, so let's see. We got a few more to dig in here. I ain't going to keep y'all all day. But, you know, let's do it. Here's another one that's super, super old. It's a 31 Rolls Royce with a Kmart sticker on it. We're doing a Fiat 500 step by steps. Do, um, throw in there, um, I put in there, um, how to die cast cars for dummies. <laughs> How to die cast cars for dummies and then put in there proof anyone can do it. Any number two fire trucks? I don't think so. We're going to go through the rest of this package and see what I got in here because these are all vintage joints. But I don't think I got any of those. This is from 82. Do not oil wheels and axles. Ordinary oils will harm them. I told y'all, y'all got to have the liquid turbo. I forgot what it's called. Liquid uh, something there. But uh, you don't want to get stuff that's going to guck up your tires. Yep. So, this will be getting to some really cool stuff here. I really need to open this, right? Like, I should open this, right? Like, this is the Wiener Mobile. This is not, uh, what do you call it? Uh, rare. Everyone has one of these, right? Like, you're not a collector if you don't have the Oscar Mayer Wienerville, Wiener Mobile, right? And on top of that, like, Another classic you just got to have is the Goodyear Blimp. Like, come on, man. Like, I, I heard that there were some phony ones running around. <laughs> I don't think that this is phony. It's been in my collection for a long time, so if it did me phony, they would have uh, done it. The Glizzy Mobile. I'm not selling anything. Oh, yeah, the hot dog. That's what they call the Glizzies in New York. <laughs> I moved from New York before that term came out. Like, what the fuck? Excuse me. <laughs> For cursing, I apologize about that. Yeah, but this is the Hot Wheels, the Glizzy truck. They got a um, they got one out now. That's a Hot Wheel. That's a, a a monster truck. 
And I've been seeing it, and I was like, no, nah, I ain't going to get it, I ain't going to get it. Then one day I was like, yo, I should get it because I could turn it into a regular car, and then I can't find it anymore, so I just forgot it. So since we're talking about the Goodyear blimp, we got to get, we had the uh, orange one, we got to get the gray joint popping. Look at the bottom of that joint, look like, for real, for real, like you about to fly off in that joint on this one, like, for real. So this one might be a fake one either. I don't know, but uh, here, let's see what year these came out. Yeah, sorry, bro. I apologize. I don't want to be showing off or bragging or anything like that. I just, I'm not really selling anything right now. I, I probably will, but I'm not really selling anything right now. 1991. The Fuji blimp? I don't think so. So this one came out in 91. And let's see, when did this one come out? This one came out in 2000. Nine years later. This is a weird color and everything, too, so... Yeah, it's almost 10 years later, man. Almost 10 years later. That's crazy. Nine years. And the classic caddy. Once again, I'm not really a fan of the old school cars. You got to excuse me. But once again, I keep them. Not getting rid of them. I respect them. Yep. Okay, so let's see what else we're dealing with here. What else are we dealing with here? Okay. Another go-kart. All right, and 64 Galaxy. Ooh, ooh. Once again, they don't put, it's got the chrome on there though. That's pretty cool, but they do not have any details on the front of the back. 027. Yep. Okay, hold on here, let's see. Let's work in here. Oh, I see new stuff in here already. I think I pretty much gone through most of the old school stuff. But let's let's rock out. Let's finish it out. And then we can do, you know, we can do whatever. All right, so the Muscle Mania Mopar 12. Right, like Dodge Dart. My aunt had one of these in real life. I hear him talk about it all the time. They had a duster. And the duster and the dart used to go with each other. And the dart beat the duster. Can you believe that? In real life. So... That doesn't, you know, mean that all darts beat all dusters. I mean, all dusters beat all darts, but no particular one. I did not pay two dollars for this. Believe me. Um, but yeah, this is a Camaro, '95 Camaro with the Crunch logos. Um, let's see, what year did this come out? This came out in '92. Can you see it there? '92. If you don't see it, take my word for it. It came out in '92. <laughs> and here's the, this one's cool. I, and this is, I, I, I see, man, I see these all the time, and I see that they're highly slept on. And that's these Aston Martins, man. Like, they're really cool. The grill on those joints are dope. Like, if you ever hear, or hear one of these in real life, like, they got a nice hum to them. They really sound good. You know, on the highway, you think you're getting followed by a Ferrari or something, and you look up, and it's an Aston Martin. You're like, what the hell is that? Is that a spaceship or something? Yeah, I can tell. So, okay, this is new for 2017, so I guess this is kind of old school, but I got the uh, 2017 Camaro, right? Like, no details on the back. Well, the taillight and the Corvette, but they didn't put any... It, you know, more than they normally do. And nothing on the front. Nothing on the front. But it's cool. Look at this police car. Pretty sure you guys have seen this elsewhere. The blister is messed up here. Probably squeeze it right on out of there, right? I wonder if that back door opens up. Let me squeeze it. Let's see, does it? Ugh, I'm breaking the rules. And... No, they don't. The back door does not. Oh, no, it, it does. Back door opens. Cool. Police car, police van, mobile van. Coming to get you. Fort Thomas. I don't know where Fort Thomas is. If you know where Fort Thomas is, yeah, they're coming to get you. Bad boys, bad boys. What you going to do? Police come for you. Okay. So, man, I could tell these ones are really, really flimsy here. Like, this is really beat up here. Oh my goodness. This does not even belong here. Look, look. This doesn't even belong here. I'm going to keep it like this because I got that taxi, right? That's time 
Time Attack or something like that, I think it's called. And look at this. They put something else in there. They traded it back to the store and put this in. Either way, it stays in the collection. I can't even explain that one. That's just what it is. And this tool again. So like, I don't know, is that an eight millimeter socket or something? Something kind of small, but yeah, there's a actual wrench on the back of this. They got new ones, the Experimotos, but this looks pretty beat up here. So let's see how old is this. 2017. Look at this. Look how beat up it is. Man, I should open it, right? But nope. Same thing with this guy. Big heat. It is beat. The card is beat to hell. But I want that. I want that. <laughs> I gotta keep it. I want that look. You got the look. You got the look. Okay, so this guy's like a dune buggy or something. HW from here, doing it up. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Pretty cool. Ugh, we almost do this. Snowstormer. I've seen a cool, couple of new ones of these ones, like, out there, but... Snowstormer, this came out. Let's see, what, what year you guys think this came out? It's got some scan and race stuff on it, so it's got to be 2000 with the internet, right? 2015. Is it there? Yep, 2015. Okay, we are almost through this, people. Thank you for watching. Thank you for timing in. I appreciate you. And Triceratops trucks. This is crazy. What the heck is this? Another fantasy vehicle. Hot Wheels want to put in a tri, tri what the heck is it? Triceratox or what a dino riders? Triceratrucks? Yeah, okay. G good run, Hot Wheels. This one I really like, though. It's called the Boom Car. And I guess you can... Boom! Right? And um, if you've got the... Uh, I don't know, maybe those handles will work with one of those little people that come with the... The shopping carts. But let's see, what year do you think this came out? 2015, not too old. 2015, not too old. Papa Willy, I see these are being released right now. These are in the stores right now. But yeah, I got the Papa Willy from, what year you think this is? I say 2015, right? Because that's a scanner thing, right? Oh, a little bit sooner, 2013. 2013. Listen, man, if you guys aren't following Car Mania, y'all really need to. You see how he gave me all that love? Showed up in my live. Probably do the same thing for you on your live show. Okay, so this is like a set here. These are, ooh, these are like premiums or something. These are called Hot Wheels Classics. And they're all metal chassis with special paint. So this is going to be like our grand finale here of all the cars that I got. So, like, look at this Aston Martin right here. Like, this joint is crazy. Like, look at the special paint. It's got the Spectrum Flame on it, and it is heavy. Hey, what's up, Jose? It is really heavy. Really, really heavy. Okay, so then we got a funny car. And um, I like the wheels on this funny car, because look, it's got the Goodwill, good years on it. It's a classic. It's a funny car. So, you know it opens up. We're going to leave that right on in the box, right? Make sure I follow Jose back. Word. Okay, follow Jose back. Word, word, word. All right, and then we got the Dairy Delivery. This is crazy. This is really, really heavy, and it's got the real rider wheels on it. And not rubber. Oh, wow. Wow. I just dropped one, and it opened. Damn. I'm going to show y'all that last. I'm pissed off about that. I'm mad. After this, I'm getting off. Fish and chips. All right? Look at the special paint. It doesn't have the real riders. They're white wheels. But, yeah, man. Okay, so the last one before I show y'all the one that I dropped and cracked open, we're going to show you the Boss Hoss motorcycle. Like, this is super cool. Wheels on it and everything. And these series came out in 2007. So they're not too old. But they're pushing on 20 years. They're getting close to it, over 15. So finally, 
And I'm gonna shut it down with this one because I'm pissed off and I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna show you the card real quick because it just fell on the floor and busted open. And that's the Pontiac GTO. And here's the, uh, the blister and everything, man. It just fell out of my hands and hit the floor and just, damn. So, without further ado, here it is. GTO, right? With real rider wood. Look at the shine on that paint. See how it's shining off on my finger? Look at that, bro. Oh no, we putting some miles on this one, man. It's open. It's heavy. Are those rubber wheels? No. Yo, we about to light it up. We about to lie. Look at this mess. Well, we about to light it up. I'm not. I'm not lying. We about to light it up. Cause uh, I um, yeah, I gotta put this on the track. Being that I messed up like that, so we're gonna turn the lights on. <sighs> we about to get it popping real quick, man. That's what we about to do. Yeah, I got a lot. We about to get it popping real quick. That's what we about to do. All right, it's about to get some miles after so many years in the case, looking so good. Look at them wheels. Yeah, we about to throw this down the track. I'm sorry, man. Even if you buy it, I got to try it because I got to see. Let's give it some wheels. Let's give it some mileage. Let's go. Let's go make it down the track. Oh, I almost fell. Ooh. -hoo. Clean. 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 Man. Look at those wheels. Put some dirt on them, man. They was just nice and clean. Put some dirt on them wheels, man. But this is really, 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 really dope. This is really dope. 60 miles. Now, look at the, the shine. I've never seen a car reflection so heavy that the color reflects onto my finger. This shit is glowing. You can't see it in real life. If you can see it in real life, yo, this shit is crazy. It makes me want to open up the rest of those cars. That's what it makes me want to do. Because look how shiny it is. My freaking goodness. You can see yourself. I can see me in the car. This shit is dope. All right. <laughs> Yeah, man. That GTO is dope. I don't even know if I'm going to put it back, man. I might just keep that out here and stunt, make the next video with it. This is uh, it's crazy because it sure enough fell right out of the package. While I'm doing, you see all the other ones, I got everything just all over the place. It fell right out. I had it on my lap like this and it fell with boop. And uh, that GTO is fire. Like, you really, it, the, the camera does it no justice whatsoever. Damn. I hate that I opened it, but it, it that shit looks so good. I'm glad that I, it opened, you know? That's just dust. Shit. How can I make my paint do that? Look at that. Ah, damn. Look at the glow. Look at that. Sh look at the reflection. How you get the reflection on my fingers like that? Man? And it's in real life, too. It's in real life like that. It's crazier in real life than what you're seeing on the camera. Thanks, Brand. Let me follow Brand back. If I'm not following you back, man, or well, he ain't want me following back, if, um, do we have a purple red line Nova? No, I just show what I had, and I do not have a purple red line Nova. Um... Anything new, I probably got it. 
But this is just my vintage cars, man. I just got a, a nice 72 case of vintage cars. I got a few more vintage ones put away, but this is uh, uh, my vintage case right here. So, But yeah, any other cars, I probably got it. And the way I got them organized on the wall, just to give you guys a head up. I think it's a Chevy green red line truck. I think it's, I don't know, I wouldn't know. But these ones, the way I have them separated, let me cut this other light back on. The way I have them separated is by these things on the side, spare motos, fast foodies, AC uh, speed graphics, Baja Blazers, J Imports, Factory Fresh, you know, Batmans, Hondas, In and Outs. So that's how I pretty much got you guys seen that new Honda. You guys see the new Proto. Might as well show you some Super. That's not a Super. That's a regular Super Chase. That's a Super. That's a Super. Walgreens exclusive. Uh, uh, super. Super. Z-Mac. Z-Mac. Fast and Furious set. Chase joint. Super short cars. Z-Mac. Z-Mac. Super. Super Z Mac, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's how that's going right there. Thanks for the love. Green red line truck. I think it's Chevy. Um, I don't think I have it. Let's do. Some, I just had these classic ones right here. I had six of them, and this one just broke. Well, I think this is actually the the like the best one out of them. It's got the rear rider wheels on it and look at the freaking paint job look at the reflection of the paint job on my finger and if you think that that's crazy in real life it's even crazier like i wish that you could see what i'm seeing off camera this shit is dope so yeah this is probably the best one and it just busted out like yo i want to be free today and i'm not putting it back man i'm keeping it out Red lines. I'm giving it some. Uh, we giving it some miles. I just ran it down the track. You know I'm feeling really special. So we're gonna run it down the track again. Well, matter of fact, let's race it with something this time. You guys want to put a Ferrari? Let's put a classic Rari on it, right? Like a classic Rari. All right. Let's just nice classic Rari against the GTO and see what happens. Classic. It was on. Mm. Shit, I can't even keep up with it. I better slow it down. Like, I don't like the way how this is getting hit. That paint might start chipping. He done had his good run and it's over with. We're going to put this somewhere safe. Look at that. Goodness, the reflection, look at the reflection. It's like, it's lighting the room up. It's it's lit. It's like a diamond or something. Like, I can't explain. <laughs> How do they get the paint job like this, man? They, they don't do this anymore. Right? They don't do this anymore. Like, where do they do this at anymore? Like, so I always talk about Matchbox is better than Hot Wheels, but definitely in this era, like, whew. you got like 800 cars in the package. Yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. I was just on the ceiling and everything, man. Like 800 cars in the package. Yeah. I got about 16. And I got more than that, but, you know, that's, I'm just trying to get them out of their cars and bust them out free, man. That's all I'm trying to get my my loose collection up. I'm trying to get that loose collection up, baby. We're going to get all of these out the bag. we take all of these out the box eventually. This one, my goodness. Damn. 
This is right here. I stole these from the dumpster of Family Dollar. That's how I got them. Stole these from the dumpster of Family Dollar and bought two boards. And look, they're going to split right there. Bought two pegboards all the way up to the ceiling from there all the way up. See that board underneath see that piece of wood right there? That's to lock both of the pieces in over here. One board on that end, and then the board on that end, and the board on the top. And that's how I do it. RWB. What's RWB? I'm horrible with this stuff, man. What, what's the RWB for? I might have it. Matter of fact, here. <sighs> I got that cabriolet. I got plenty of Porsches, bro. But like, <laughs> what is RWB? It's a style of make. Oh, no, that's the dude's name. And I don't have one of those. I looked that shit up. That's dude. Like, that's his name. RWB is his name. It's like a. Uh, yeah, wide body, but that's his name, yo. Like, I'm surprised you know about it, but you should know about it if you're going to mention it, right? Like, you should know that shit, bro. Yeah, see? There you go. Much respect for you, brother. I don't have one, though. <laughs> I don't have one. Now, here goes my... You guys just take a look at those premiums and tell me if it's something you see on there that you want as far as the premiums go. Those are all premiums. Same thing with those ones there. I don't have any Porsche with the RWB. I got a GT3. Word. We got some, got some nice Porsches, man. Tow truck, tow truck. Tow truck, tow truck with that Lambo with the fucked up wheel. Tow truck, tow truck. Let's see. I got a couple of tow trucks, but that shit is the dopest. You know why this shit is dope? You see, my wheels is fucked up on it. It came with a fucked up wheel, so I need to take it apart and straighten out the wheel or whatever the case is. But this shit is dope because it goes right up underneath any car, right? And it'll lift, well, not one of those, but lift it right on up off the ground. Take that shit with it. See how that shit just connected to it? Yeah, the tow truck. Now, which Lambo you want to see? That Lambo with the wheel messed up? Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Uh, Dodson. The Wrangler. Skyline. Chris Jones, that Lambo. Yeah, it's, here, let's let's take a look at it, man. I need to change the wheel on this. I guess that's it. Um, it's pretty beat up. I don't like it because it's not independent. Look how this wheel controls that wheel, and I think it runs like that on the back, too. I don't like those ones. Matter of fact, I think this is a pullback. Look at that back tire's falling off. Maybe a pullback. Let me see. Nope. That's not. I thought I felt that little spring in there. This is like a bigger scale than the rest of them, too. Like, you sit it next to the other ones, it sits bigger. Yep. Need a wheel for it. And I can make one, but. Let's put it on the wall, man. Keep it pushing. I put a video out on YouTube, yo. It's slamming right now. But it shows this when it was black. It doesn't show when I did what I did to it. It doesn't see the end result. And it looks horrible. But I never got a chance to show off the end result. Like on that video, they just slammed me on it. Like, yo, you did a sucky job. And I did. I did, but it was the flat. I put the black. What it was is, it was this black paint. I I laid it all black, 
and then I taped this off, and then I colored it, colored it red. But they seen it when it was black, and it was like, oh, it looks worse than it you started off. You messed it up. So, yeah. I'm about to chime off of here, man. Um, I could say this, though. I like this one. Um, maybe I shouldn't have painted those, like, green and yellow in the back with the red. But I really like how this one came out. But, all right, y'all. Y'all get out of here. Shoddy fee. <laughs> I'm out of here. Yo, listen, man. I love y'all. Y'all be safe. <laughs> it's Sunday, man. Take y'all butts to church, man. Word. <laughs> I love you, man. Y'all be safe, man. Um, hit me up uh, on my comments or whatever, and we good, man. Peace.